So let's look at our first sequencing question. So it says, I can smell those goons a mile away. Which farmer does Mr Fox mention second? Tick one answer. So when it says tick one answer, you really need to make sure that you're only ticking one answer to get the mark. Now, do you remember at the beginning of the chapter when Mr Fox was discussing the di different smells that the different farmers gave off? Well, let's have a look at that part of the text. So my darling, said Mr Fox, I can smell those goons a mile away. I can even smell one from the other. Boggis gives off a filthy stink of rotten chicken skins, bunts reeks of goose livers, and as for Bean, the fumes of apple cider hang around him like poisonous gases. So which farmer is mentioned first? Boggis gives off a, ah, it's Farmer Boggis that's mentioned first. Listen, I can even smell one from the other. Boggis gives off a filthy stink of rotten chicken skins. So we can't tip. Farmer Boggis, because he is first, he is mentioned first. We need the person that's mentioned second. So it's going to be the person that's mentioned after Boggis. So who is it? Let's have a look. Bunts reeks of goose livers. Ah, there we go. So therefore, Farmer Bunts is mentioned second because Boggis is mentioned first, Bunts is mentioned second, and Bean is mentioned third. So therefore, you'd put a tick in Farmer Bunts's box. I know I've put a cross but I'm not sure how to do a tick on the PowerPoint so when you do it make sure you do a tick but I've done a cross just because I'm not sure how to do a tick. Okay so we've got the answer to that question. Let's look at the next one together. So we're going to start this one together and then I'm going to leave you to get on with the next part yourself. So it says put these events in order. We have Mr Fox moved an inch or two forwards. He crept up to the mouth of the hole. He poked his head out into the night air. He flattened his body against the ground. He sniffed for the scent of danger. OK, so let's read the first part, the little part there where it tells us what happens in which order. So Mr Fox crept up the dark tunnel to the mouth of his hole. He poked his long, handsome face out into the night air and sniffed once. OK, so have we got anything? about Mr Fox crept up to the dark tunnel to the mouth of his hole. Hmm. Oh, look, that's one of our sentences. It says he crept up to the mouth of the hole. So therefore, what number would we put in this box? Yes, we put number one. There we go. So we've done the first one. Shall we try and find the second one? So is it Mr Fox moved an inch or two forwards? He poked his head out into the night air. He flattened his body against the ground and, or he sniffed for the scent of danger. So let's have a look. Mr Fox crept up the dark tunnel to the mouth of his hole. He poked his long handsome face out into the night air and sniffed once. Oh, he poked his head out into the night air. There we go. So that would be number two. So what I'd like you to do now is you have some questions on your worksheet. Year two reading, 25th of January, resource two. Remember, the story is your resource one. And you have five questions. Now, we've done the first one together and we've done half of the second one together. So you need to finish the second question and do the other three. OK, and make sure you fill in the first question because we did that together. So again, look back at the pages on resource one and have a go at the sequencing questions. Now, the last one, you need to write your own answer. So it says it's a what happens after question. OK, or what happens before. So you, you need to write your answer to that question. It's not a tick box and it's not a number question. OK, well, have a lovely rest of your day, year two. And I'm looking forward to reading the next bit of chapter three in our next lesson. Bye.